Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing yet another video on gay marriage, and this time I'm going to be critiquing one of the arguments used in support of gay marriage. Now if you want to see my two videos critiquing arguments that are made against gay marriage, then uh, be sure to check the more info section. Now even if you support gay marriage, um, you should be able to realize that some arguments used in support of gay marriage are better than others. And what I'm going to be doing today is arguing that appealing to human rights is one of the worst arguments. So let's take a look at some of these campaign slogans. Now, I don't think homosexual or heterosexual marriage is a right. It sounds like a cool slogan, but I don't think it really makes sense. Uh, in the absence of governments, people could still pair up and have social contracts, but they couldn't have a marriage as we understand it today. And I just don't think people in that situation are having their rights violated. Secondly, human rights are a lot more complicated than most people realize. I have some issue with the way rights are classified, but uh, they're typically broken down into negative and positive rights. Um, a negative right is something that people have to refrain from doing to you. And a positive right is uh, something that people have to do for you. So for example, uh, Americans believe that humans have a right to life. And now if the right to life is a negative right, that means that I have to refrain from killing you. If it's a positive right, then that means I have to save you if you're about to die. Uh, so picture this. Your brother is dying of kidney failure, and you're the only one who can save him by donating a kidney. If the government believes that the right to life is a positive right, then they'd be arguing that your brother has a right to your kidney. Uh, if you violate, that you'd be violating his right to life by not saving him and donating your kidney. Here's perhaps a less complicated example. Um, in America, we also recognize the right to free speech. Uh, if it's a negative right, that means you can say whatever you want without the government interfering. And uh, if it's a positive right, that means the government has to give you a megaphone. Positive rights are just a lot harder to argue for, and when Americans talk about rights, we're usually talking about negative rights. But if marriage is a human right, then it would have to be a positive right, because it's something that the government has to give to us. Uh, you wouldn't be arguing that the government has to refrain from doing something, but that it has an obligation to provide you with something, in this case, a marriage contract. Um, using that argument to support gay marriage means that you also have to make an argument for positive rights. And I, I think that'd just be more difficult than just making a better argument for gay marriage. Now, personally, I recommend that we just abandon this talk about rights when it comes to arguing about which social contracts the government should give legal perks to. But I think there is a way we can talk about both rights and marriage that makes a bit more sense. The Declaration of Independence recognizes the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, instead of arguing that we have um, the right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and marriage, um, perhaps you could just argue that marriage is instrumental or necessary to our pursuit of happiness. Uh, back when interracial marriage was an issue, this is the line of reasoning uh, Chief Justice Earl Warren used. Uh, he concluded that uh, the freedom to marry has long been recognized as one of the vital personal rights essential to an orderly pursuit of happiness. Now, I'm not sure I actually agree with that, but it is at least a coherent line of reasoning. Based upon that precedence, I think that's actually probably how uh, gay marriage is going to be legalized. But I still think that appealing to rights is actually a convoluted way of thinking about gay marriage and whether or not it should be legal. Uh, I think the real issue here is fairness. Uh, unlike this poster, I don't think the government is obligated to offer either heterosexuals or homosexuals marriage contracts. I think marriage is indeed a privilege. But that privilege is offered to some while being withheld from others. And uh, we can ask ourselves if the government has good reasons for offering it to one group and refraining from offering it to another. We can also ask ourselves if there are good reasons for extending this privilege to additional groups. In other words, we can look at the government's line of reasoning and question whether or not their actions are fair. Now, talking about rights may make for an appealing slogan, but I don't think it actually adds anything to the conversation that discussions about fairness do not. In fact, I think it just muddles the issue. Now, if you want this video to be seen or critiqued by more people, then be sure to leave a rating. And uh, as always, test everything, hold on to the good.